Hi, over here at the uh, Smithsonian.com. This is back in 2012. And check this out. Photo of the day. Looks like the abyss, doesn't it? Anyway. How Thomas Jefferson created his own Bible. I'm not going to get too deep into this. I'm just going to show you this one paragraph, and I'll put all these links below. Jefferson was devoted to the teachings of Jesus Christ, but he didn't always agree with how they are interpreted by biblical sources, including the writers of the four Gospels, whom he considered to be untrustworthy correspondents. So, Jefferson created his own Gospel by taking a sharp instrument, perhaps a penknife, to existing copies of the New Testament and pasting up his own account of Christ's philosophy, distinguishing it from what he called the corruption of schismatizing followers. Now, let's go over here to PBS. Thomas Jefferson and his Bible. The Jefferson Bible was Thomas Jefferson's attempt to extract an authentic Jesus from the Gospel accounts. Thomas Jefferson was frustrated. It was not the burdens of office that bothered him. It was his Bible. Jefferson was convinced that the authentic words of Jesus written in the New Testament had been contaminated. Early Christians, overly, er, excuse me, overly eager to make their religion appealing to the pagans, had obscured the words of Jesus with the philosophy of the ancient Greeks and the teachings of Plato. These Platonists had thoroughly muddled Jesus' original message, so Jefferson assured his friend and rival, John Adams, that the authentic words of Jesus were still there. The task, as he put it, was one of abstracting what is really his from the rubbish in which it is buried. And here's even another article, so you can check this all out if you're interested. These clowns knew what they were doing when they called and labeled themselves, and well, whoever did it, the Founding Fathers because they know they're not the real father, just mockery. You know, but we're taught these guys are heroes and all this shit. We don't need these guys, we never did. We've got Jesus of Nazareth inside each and every one of us and the real father, not these knockoff clowns. You know, I wish I could have been there, because supposedly the story goes, Benjamin Franklin, you know, another founding father, the guy, you know, that they found a bunch of skeletons buried in his basement, came out and told all those people that, as the story goes, we gave you a republic if you can keep it. I wish I could have been one of them people he told that to. I'd have walked up, laughed right in his, his face and said, Get out of here, clown. We don't need you to give us anything. Get lost. But whatever. you got to give the people what they want. So thanks to my subscribers for the support.